right, there we go then. Hello guys, welcome back to Kaseka Fashions for another bonus video. Um, yeah, this is quite interesting actually. Um, bit of an interesting choice for this episode, this, well this episode of all bonus video really. Um, it's a video that I forgot about actually, years ago actually, uh, year, years ago actually. And um, I, thought, I just realised when I was doing some, um, looking at some old Kaseka Fashion videos of course like that, just like just talking through my memory and everything else, you know, that's, that's what I do now, sometimes now and again, just look for the old videos and see what happens, you know. And then the thought came to my head, it's like, you know, I do remember another video actually that um, my dad got me actually. Don't know where I'm from actually. Uh, some random video that he got. And this is what it is. It is Ace Lightning. This is basically the first three episodes of this series actually, which are, um, was it The Game Has Begun? Um, the Trap is Set and Substitute. This is the first three episodes of the series. Question is, what is Ace Lightning? It's basically this British Canadian TV show done by the BBC um, in, in the early 2000s, about 2002 it was broadcast. It was, I think, came in, and this actually came up, this video came at the same time in 2002. And um, yeah, it was something, it's interesting because I've only known about of, it, of its cover and everything else, I never actually watched it, believe it or not, you know, until just, Maybe just recently, actually, just just to you know, when think about it, for like, might as well, might as well just see what this is like, really, in to in total, and um, it's quite surprisingly interesting. So, basically, I'll give you a little gist of what this show this show is about, really. So, this guy, this uh, British teenager called Mark, moves to Canada, I think, actually, with his family, of course, with his mum and dad, and obviously he's starting school, getting to new people, and everything else. So, you know, so far, so just standard BBC live action stuff, really. But he also plays a game called, I think it just goes with the name of Ace Lightning, does, really, or something else, really. And it involves this, this, this sort of hero from, uh, you know, this blonde books and um, adventure. Well, I don't like adventure, I like some hero, fighter hero called Ace Lightning, who goes against this skeleton doctor called Dr. Fear, who I think actually. It does have some resemblance to um what's that main villain from Prince of Frog, I don't know what it's called now, actually has some resemblance, but like it plays a skeleton as well. And he's got other like characters like some um beefed up warhol, like some of teenage teen, what's it, teenage mutant Disney turtles and um, other and some other other characters of course. And uh, they invade his well they come out of his computer really, they're like a maybe like doing a freak storm and they end up in the real in the real world, or Canada really, somewhere in Canada. And um, yeah, and they and they basically take off this carnival, and basically, uh, take was a guy called Mr. Duff. I think he's known as he looks like Cheech Marin. Actually, he does have Cheech and Chong in various sort of films, you know, something like that. Really, you know, how I looked at him, like this character, really, like the, the owner of the carnival, look like, and um, you know, and takes over and they take over. Of course, I think in the visual game they have a carnival in the actual game, like in some of the base operations, like. Um, you know, sort of the main headquarters, the main lair, sort of like that, really. And obviously, they just take up this little carnival, do all crazy stuff in there, and uh, yeah, it's one of those. Really, it's one of those really, and obviously, it's sequelized as well. So it leaves in a cliffhanger from one, two, three, four, whatever you know. So it's like a continuing story. It is sort of with bits included, as you do with serials, really, as, as you do with TV shows, really. And um, obviously, Mark has to deal with his normal life and also just try and you know but also ace interrupts him most sound like bursting through doors and you know in his um through his through his window and everything else you know that's like i need your help i do you, you know suit up and everything else and um there's some funny moments of course like you know breaks the door what's my dad gonna say forget about the door and everything else and also in the first episode when it's mark's the morning when mark has to school a sort of appears in really, and obviously you know, um, he holds the door with his finger so his dad can't, well, Mark's dad won't get in. It's, and he saw afterwards he just so close to his finger, climbing, you know, quite strong for a boy his age, really. His dad says, and um, so, but also there's some interesting things like how he first meets him, in, involving you know, he's power, he's a bit powerless because he's just come out of the dimension, also faced Doctor Fear in the, his back in Mark's back garden, whatever, and said, you know, I just probably need to recharge. 
And then the next morning, obviously, after the stuff, you know, when he's in his room, but, but you know, holds the door, the Mark Spencer door for his finger and everything else, how strong he is. Um, it's revealed that he, he's basically just extracted the power out of the dad's car, really, to get the power. So he's fully energized and everything else. So, and there we go. So, I don't know where he comes from, it just pops out of nowhere. He does. So, like, he just, go, he just goes around scavenging around. Canada searching for Dr. Fear and stuff and just come back to Mark really. Interesting. Um so that's really what stop what I really get get out of a sliding really. So it's the first time actually watching it. You know, even though I had the video for many years for a long time. Twenty one years, I would say. Twenty one years. And um yeah, so there we go. So this was a show that was broadcast in two thousand two on um BBC actually, I think called C B B C. It does mention on the video label is from CBBC, so it's like you know I don't I think it's when the digital channel was for, was coming out, well, actually come out probably at the time, and um, this is like is a bit like I mentioned before it's a British Canadian production it is Rick Sigal produced executive produced this as well. Thomas fans will know him from Shantan Station and also he was he's he appeared in documentaries as well like that in the long clip and um, I like the fandom there's another one that he recently appeared in, obviously. And um, yeah, it's one of those. It's a bizarre thing because it, it's ta it's taking stuff like from other shows. I can't remember the, all the other shows now, but it's all free. It's like computer and three D stuff, really. You know, you get stuff like that. Comments down below if you've seen such shows like this. Really, um, it does put you in the mind of that, really. But uh, it's in it's in the real world. It's you know CGI and stuff like that. It put me stuff like it's small like small soldiers in some regards. You know, the film and. Um, yeah, but overall, I thought it was like a bit. It was an interesting experience looking at it. Um, not knowing what to, I think I probably saw the video. The video somewhere. It's probably still sealed somewhere. Actually, all just there. Uh, but I had a pretty, I had a decent little time out of it. Really, it is like a, of CV shows of its time, or what it was, what it was coming out, or coming out of that time, or led the president to really. You know, involved you know live action school kids. That's sort all of thing, really. You know, having like a a, Brit a British family emigrate to Canada, stuff like that, really. You, you know, anything else really about that thing, really. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Really. I enjoyed it for what it was. I've only seen the free episode, which was on the video, really, so I had to get a bit of context of what was about, really. So, just three episodes. They run about for about nearly 20, 22, 23 minutes, roughly, on that one. So it's probably it's about, it's about like sort of twenty five hour block really included um so yeah i thought it was pretty good interesting stuff and um yeah <laughs> i thought it was pretty i thought it was pretty decent actually for especially for 2002 yeah for early 2000 stuff so that's pretty all right actually um so that's me talking about Ace Lightning. So it's basically episodes one to three. It just says Ace Lightning episodes one to three or volume one, I sort of, sort of call it sometimes. Um, I'm not sure where my dad got it from actually, but I think, or maybe from Pound Stretches, I'm not entirely sure really. So it's a bit of an old one. It was never included on the original se um, series because I don't know where it came from. So that's another one that's all, of, that's, I sort of break traction a bit with this one, with the bonus ones, because I sort of forgot about it really you know it's all escaped it lost my skin my memory many years ago really you know a long time and i'm just realized feel like oh yes that one ah okay so there we go guys so that's ace lightning episodes one to three which was the game the game's begun or the game the game's begun trap is set and substitute you know if you want to check it out just go on youtube and type it up really just type up ace lightning season one or whatever and just just view it for what you like really um nothing else to say it's just one of those shows and um i just didn't know he was I had it and well I, I forgot about my collection it's just been missing time until i just realized you know like that just like that so thank you guys for watching as always see you for the next video see ya